We're uh, shooting a quick video to test out Harbor Freight's super heavy duty degreaser. What we're working on here is uh, rebuilding a D16Y7, turning it into a D16Y8. Uh, and as you can see, I've got the engine fully disassembled, I've got everything bagged and tagged, I've got new new goodies new new pistons and new gaskets and new everything but first i gotta get all this crap clean uh so i thought about getting a tub full of solvent i don't have a big old parts washer but i see these rebuild videos and they start on the block here's the block right over here start on the block and it's you know when they come back for the reassemble it's all clean and pretty and well, let's see if this is how they do that. So we're not gonna dunk the block right now, but uh, we will re read the directions. I wanna use it as specified before we go heavy duty or something. First thing I'd, I'd recommend with degreaser is gloves. I hate, I mean, it'll suck all the oil out of your hands and it'll just be no fun. <clears throat> Other thing is, of course, Wear your dang safety glasses because this will take grease off of car parts. You can get a drop of that crap in your eye. I'm sure that wouldn't be pleasant. So, all gloved up. Of course, these are the famous hardy gloves from Harbor Freight as well. Thanks, Harbor Freight. This video is not sponsored by Harbor Freight. It could be, but it's not. <clears throat> so, label says <clears throat> for stripping sealers, nope, not doing that. For grease buildup on concrete floors, nope, not doing that. For greasy machinery, tools, etc., dilute one part degreaser to 26 part water. Do not soak parts longer than five minutes. Immediately clean and remove grease from metal surfaces using a brush. To prevent rusting rinse with water and dry immediately rusting shouldn't be an issue all these parts are either stainless or or uh, aluminum um, aluminium so where we're gonna start here is there's the old bearings a little bit of bearing wear there So it said dilute one part, one part uh, degreaser, 26 parts water. <clears throat> so I had to get out the calculator to be honest with you. I've got a five gallon bucket here, about halfway full of water. Um, try and give you a little better camera view there. About halfway full of water. One US gallon is 128 fluid ounces so that times two and a half is 360 I believe uh, and then that divided by <clears throat> 26 gives you a recommended strength of 12 ounces so we're gonna do quick math here this is a 16 Point nine ounces. I don't want to put engine degreaser in the wife's measuring cups. So instead of that, let's see. So this is 16.9. Let's say cut it there. Cycle that, and we're gonna say probably to the bottom of the label, uh, maybe mid label.
It smells fresh and minty. Might as well rinse that out, I suppose. First thing we're gonna try, we'll save that for the next one. First thing we're gonna try is these rod and pistons. Now the piston and the rings are all going in the garbage as well as the uh, wrist pin. So it's really just the rod I'm interested in, but um, we'll just make sure those are loose and pulled slightly apart. Stick it in there. Five minutes. Watch the thing come out like bah! sparkly. Stuff smells like uh, it probably is the same exact stuff. When I was in high school, I was a custodial engineer. We used to use crap to clean the floors, and it smelled exactly like this. It probably is exactly this. Maybe not the Harbor Freight brand. It's probably the more expensive on your tax dollars because the school district bought it brand. That's probably it. I freaking love Harbor Freight. What I'm interested in is what does it do for this? I mean, this this piston buildup is like baked on there stuff. You can really see some bearing wear in there. I don't know what that's called, but where the bearing started to, it's a sign that your engine's worn out, I guess. We're wearing out. I'm gonna do this because it's bugging me. I don't want to drop this in there. Pretty, pretty stuck. Just want to gingerly. There we go. Want to get these bearings out of here. Because honestly, we don't need those. sign that the it's probably ready for a rebuild it's probably been that actually feels Pretty good. I mean, it hasn't taken any of the grease color out of here. But the 
oil discolor discoloration. Feels pretty good. Let this this stuff break down any further. Let's let it soak for a while. Um, so that's that's a an internal engine part, not quite as grimy and gross. Let's try something that was on the outside. That's the. Uh, flywheel cover how about this the transmission I'm gonna call it a yoke let's just see what happens with that the water is getting an interesting cloudiness in it I wonder if that's it looks like flakiness Kind of weird. Hang out for a while. I mean, it's definitely breaking down the grease. brush for the internal stuff but for the external stuff I'm not too worried about using a brass brush whatever this is definitely still feel it pretty cruddy pretty greasy a little bit of elbow grease I'm sure this would clean right up and I said earlier all this stuff stainless but I'm actually not sure that it is I think the block is aluminum I think it's funny I have no idea I, but I think a lot of this this uh, is the crank case the crank cradle I guess that's got to be that's got to be aluminum yeah don't know so then uh, while we sit on this for a minute I mean that's starting to look pretty good let's take a look at that piston oh, my gloves got all kinds of crap on them number two just in case anybody wonders that's actually looking pretty good does that look side by side next to one of the, one of the still dirty ones looks all right looks I mean it's definitely cleaner 
Oh yeah, you can notice a pretty big difference there actually. Maybe not so much on that side. Maybe it's we gotta be comparing those sides. And those sides. Well, let's keep cleaning on it a little bit. Now, when I do the full thing, I'll do external parts separate from internal parts. And I'll change out, you know, I'm not going to wash everything internal or everything external and get the water all really crappy and then try and wash everything internal and fight all that. So normally I probably would mix this and this in the same batch, but we are testing it out, so... You know, I think it didn't, uh, by no means is it like dip and clean. And I'm not going to Photoshop something that makes me think it might, but no, that's a good idea too. But I'm, um, we'll brush this just a little bit on the exterior I probably dropped my brush down in the sure did once I get these all clean of course I'll press those wrist pins out and all that I just don't want to work on dirty greasy tools or dirty greasy parts so when it's all done I think that's about as good as it's gonna get and that looks pretty good so let's pose for a picture is that the dirty side Yep, we got the arrows. So if one side's dirtier than the other, it ought to be that side. Let's snap a pick. There we go. Alright, well. Again, you can pick this stuff up at, I didn't say this before, but you can pick this up at Harbor Freight, 10 bucks. Uh, I'm, and that's freaking enough to, that ought to go pretty far. I ought to have plenty left over. But yeah, I'm pleasantly pleased. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.